Coach Roberto here. Uh, going to go over the push press movement number five out of the CrossFit movements. Okay. You're going to make sure you grab the barbell, um, both hands. Make sure that you have the elbow slightly in front of the ribs. Firm grip and the feet are narrow with the heels basically under the hips. We're going to go over what we call a down up or dip and drive. Basically, the first thing is a dip. The dip is a slight unlocking of the knees, which you try to keep the chest from going forward, and then you aggressively push the ball into the ceiling. Three, two, one, go. Good. Making sure that you follow all the principles that you learn in the strict press, keeping the head out the way, keeping the elbows down and in front of the ribs, and squeezing full extension at the top, and returning the ball back to the shoulders. Making sure you put the ball under the chin, by the collarbones, elbows slightly down, firm grip, heels about 10 inches to 12 inches apart, head neutral, abs engaged. Anytime you perform any of these movements, the core should be engaged. So here we go. He's gonna follow my instructions. I'm gonna count down. Three, two, one, dip and drive. Okay? The key here is to be aggressive, uh, opening those hips up after you dip. Boom. All right? Do it one more time. Three, two, one, go. Uh, for the push press, you see a, a forward chest sometimes during the dip, okay, which is not what you want to do. You want to keep the chest straight up and just bend the knees, basically unlocking the knees and driving straight up into the ceiling. From there, the other fault that we see is the arms not extending fully to the top. When you're doing the dip, the bar showing. Or another thing that's common is the head not going through all the way. Okay, always making sure that the head is pushing through the ball aggressively, okay? If you push the barbell all the way up, the head will naturally clear usually through the arms. Cool. 